It's funny because when we were in Pervernitook, I think green is the only color we ever saw too. So we're out here at the park in Regina. Um, and I, every time I come to a park, I notice something more interesting from when I was a kid to what it is now. And uh, one of the things, other than, other than the fact that you don't have like wood chips or sand or rocks being the ground anymore, because for the most part it's all that rubber, um, the swings, the swings aren't exposed chain anymore. The exposed chain are there, but they have like, they have suction hose ab across the chains so that you can't get your fingers stuck or twisted or anything else. It's, it's intriguing. It's intriguing. How, uh, at one point we're going to be putting our kids in a bubble, I think. It's seeming that way. It's going in that direction. Um, I, I love that there's so many parks. I'm just, I'm amazed at how, how different things are. And I know things, things should go forward. I mean, it changes, life changes, safety regulations change, all that stuff changes. So I get it. But it's just, it's interesting to see. Like I was pushing my daughter on the swing and I'm like, why is there suction hose above, uh, over the chain? And then I figured it out and I'm like, wow, you can't do the lie on your stomach. Hi, baby. Lay on your stomachs, twist the thing around a whole bunch of times and, and fly. But I know it's it's mostly so, I'm guessing it's so you don't get your fingers caught because people jump off and all that. It, it's, it's weird to me. Anyway, that was my thought of the day. All right, so to continue my conversation about the weird things that you see nowadays. So when I was a kid, you didn't really have splash pads. Um, uh, about, well, I'm 42 now. Uh, when I was about 12 or 14, uh, the first splash pad-esque thing I'd ever seen occurred. And they had like a wooden post that you pushed a button and it would spray water out of it. Like almost like a, almost like a lawn sprinkler but it was a wooden post and that was the first one i had ever seen and it was just in the middle of the park and it was just cement all around it and all that uh but again the parks had like either wood chips gravel or sand uh and now they have the rubber stuff well splash pads are a big thing now i'm standing here at this park and there's a splash pad here i mean it's not on right now because it's october but it's the splash pads here so the park is all rubber so that you can't fall and hurt yourself but the splash pads all cement and grooved cement. So if you're running in the splash pad and you fall, you're not just hurting yourself, you're you're ripping yourself open. It's gonna happen. And I mean it doesn't bother me like that. I don't I don't want my kids in a bubble, but I just I, I don't understand why the playground is completely like bounce proof and the splash pad's like ha 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 ha. I don't know. You'd think there'd be like an AstroTurf or something that you could use or a, a rubberized coating that you could use to make it so that if you fell, you weren't ripping yourself open. But, and again, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm just, I'm looking at the park and then I'm looking at the splash pad and then I'm looking at the park and I'm looking at the splash pad. And the park, you might not be running as much. You're probably running. I mean, let's be honest, as a kid, I would run up slides and everything else, but, you're guaranteed to be running in the splash pad. So it's just weird to me. I also miss the old slides that burnt your ass as you went down them. So we're back to a weekend of just odd jobs. Um, I gotta put some door sweeps on my back door. My back door does not uh, completely seal. The door sweep that was on there was one of those old plastic door sweeps. It didn't actually work. They had, they had sanded all the sweep off it was just there i'd meant to do this all year but i hadn't done it i do have two of these because what i'm going to do with these because they're just the uh they're just the vinyl floor sweep i'm going to put one on the inside and one on the outside and hopefully that will help to keep snow and everything from coming in or if a mouse could squeeze itself like it'll it'll just help um i could go do a normal door sweep but the reason they had to sand it all off is most houses here are not 100% level, and it's a really hard thing to work with. These are a lot easier to work with, so these are what we're working with. This is what we're doing first. We gotta get some caulking, and we gotta clean all this. See, I I, I talk, tried to teach my son how to use caulking, 
I'm not great at it, but I'm not that bad. But I gotta take that all off, recock it. And then I'm gonna get a rubber mat for this back area. Uh, we got our pumpkin and stuff here. But yeah, so it's it's going to be okay. Um, but it's not going to be great. I almost feel like these guys burnt this wood. I know they didn't. It's actually, but see, because I burnt this wood, and it actually matches almost perfectly. You can even see some of the paint because all I did was flip, flip them around when I did them. Um, I think there's still some paint up on that one. Uh, yeah, so let's get this on. 